Sony has been a relative no-show in the smartphone scene for the last few years, and the recent release of the mid-range and frankly crappy Xperia X hasn't done much to improve the company's fortunes. But now, Sony has released the Xperia X Performance, which has all the high-end specs that Sony needs to compete with the big dogs. Will it be enough to pull Sony out of its smartphone rut? Well, you'll have to wait for the full review for our final assessment. But for now, I give you three features that should make the Xperia X Performance a better phone than its mid-range counterpart. Unlike the mid-range Xperia X, the Xperia X Performance runs on the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor. It's the same chip that's inside all the latest Android phones, including the Galaxy S7, HTC 10, and LG G5. It's nice to see the Xperia X Performance playing alongside its competitors, but can it outrun them? We'll determine that in the final review. Sony used to be the brand you went to first if you wanted a water-resistant Android smartphone, but it seems to have abandoned that particular marketing point once its competitors started offering waterproofing too. Weirdly, only one of three Xperia X devices is actually water resistant this year, and that's the Xperia X Performance. But it's appreciated, considering there's lots of precious hardware to protect on the inside. Unfortunately, I haven't yet had a chance to put the Xperia X Performance through its paces. However, based on its slightly larger battery pack, that's 2700 milliamps compared to 2,620 milliamps, the battery should outlast what the Xperia X can offer. Now, will the Xperia X performance outlast the competition, and will it help Sony redeem itself in the smartphone space? I can't answer that for you yet, but I will have all the details in the full review, so stay tuned.